Hey guys, Sean Bean. Today we're playing Path to Nowhere. This video is sponsored by the developer Path to Nowhere, but I really, really enjoy this game. It is a brand new real time strategy tower defense game that has a very, very mature theme. But before we can get into the characters that you can collect in this game, let's talk about why you should be collecting them the story. So the world's in trouble, big trouble. A meteorite struck the earth and people around the world are infected with mental contamination. Not good. Also, natural disasters are happening around the world. Civil wars is happening because people want resources. You, yes, you, you are the new chief of the Minas Bureau of Crisis Control. That's a lot of crisis to be controlled. Your job is to capture sinners around the world. These are the people who got the mental contamination. But instead of going crazy, they kept their mind, their brain, and they gained new powers. And they are so very hard. <laughs> Lord forgive me because I have sinned. Look at these sinners. So you have to capture them, bring them into submission and make them call you daddy. Wait, the last part didn't exist. But you have to use their power to control the people who have gone crazy, shut down the civil wars and bring back world order. You are that important. And one of the most beautiful thing about this game is the voice acting in the story. So it's gonna be super engaging, never boring because the look at this. Riots. Many sinners Do you fled hear into that? the syndicate control zone in the west, which sparked off major riots. There's Absolutely amazing. So your first mission is to capture a sinner and she will brief you about the mission the details. Security. But let me show you the best part about the chapter one story. That's right. Screw the f public security bureau. We don't need to give a damn when we fight. <laughs> Best girl of the story right there, okay? And she will be with you for a long, long time. <laughs> they can be hot and badass at the same time. That's absolutely amazing. So if you enjoy a good story in your gacha game, this is the game for you. All thanks to that Ted. <laughs> He's hiding away so well. Is he this scared of having revenge taken on him? Unbelievable. This is it. The armed doctors are all defeated. No one will get in our way now. Get in our way of doing what? <laughs> Even the, the background changed. The shift is over, Brand. Sweet dreams. And welcome to Salva, chief lapdog. I mean, <laughs> call me the lapdog you want and step on me, please. Wait, what? <laughs> so the game has an archive system that lets you revisit all the story that you want. So if you want to get in the gameplay quickly, get through the stages, get the farming team going because it is a gacha game. I understand you can always go back here and enjoy the story without any interruption, full voice acting, and absolutely amazing story writing. Oh my god! Stroke where? Oh, my forehead. Okay. <laughs> the wrong head we are talking about. Wait, what? You know what? I don't even need a gameplay. Just give me the story, okay? <laughs> We're playing dating simulator now. Does it still hurt? Good. The morphine has taken effect and the doctor is back now. She will come to see you later. She? Oh my god. Stop thinking about those horrible things. If you feel anxious, just come get me anytime, okay? Dude, even the writers, they are breaking the fourth wall right now. Okay, relax. God forgive us. On the door right there, please. God forgive me. <laughs> Oh my goodness. But hey, that's the story. Let's check out all the characters and the gameplay as well. So in this world, we have to recruit criminals. Yes, they are, they are all criminals. They are all sinners in this world that possess very, very special ability. And praise the Lord, that is us, the players. They have different roles from tanked to damage dealer to range to support to many, many things. And it is super fun to play. This live 2D skin. <laughs> Nobody tell my wife about this game, okay? Nobody. Ever. So before we go into the gameplay, let's do a little bit of arresting. <laughs> so I got her from the banner already. I haven't gotten Zoya yet. So let me try to get Yoza from the banner. The other girl is actually amazing though. So hopefully we're going to get a yellow spark. We got some purple. Oh, is that what I think it is? Is that what I think it is? Who are we getting? Beautiful. 
according to the icon, she is a bruiser, which means she can stand her ground, do some good melee damage. Oh boy, let's do some more arresting. I want to get on the yellow spark as well. Okay, we didn't get nothing, but dupes are fine. Dupes can increase their potential. Oh my goodness, the design is absolutely amazing. <laughs> But let me be clear, I play this game because the strategy in this game is amazing. I'll get to that later. Don't worry, guys. I'll get to that later. I'm going to stop when we get one more legendary, okay? The other character, the free-to-play characters are really, really important and fun to use as well. And because they're free-to-play, it is much easier to improve their shackles or potential or, you know, the things that you, you you use the dupes for to get them abilities and stats and all that good stuff. Now, you know what? This is pointless. <laughs> no, I want to get Nox. I really want to get Nox. Come on now. We can get... Oh, we got double? But I have them both already. Unbelievable. Wow. We actually got double. Okay, anyway, we're going to get out of there. So I actually have been using Bai a lot because she is really, really fun to play. So when you get a dupe, you can actually improve either their skill or stat. And it's absolutely amazing. All right, we're going to increase that. And I'm going to show you guys the gameplay. So we have the story mode. We have the farming stages and we have some other challenging stuff as well. Let's take a look at the story mode and give you guys some gameplay. All right, so I have to deploy my character in a way that can defeat the wave of the enemy. So I'm going to deploy some tank in the front. We have to block the enemy right here. And then I have another tank over here to block them even further. We're going to deploy two range character at the back to make sure we use the attack buff on the ground right there. Very important. And then we have another range character over here. Oh God, this is going to be tough. I'm going to put the tank here and then I'm going to put Bai here. Okay, so that's all I can deploy for this round. Hopefully it's going to be good. So in normal tower defense game, you can't really move the character, but here you can move them when or wherever you want. There's a limit to that. And that will make the, the strategy even more real time and more complicated. Oh my God, that guy actually got through, but it is okay. We're gonna use this girl character skill to boost her damage and attack speed even further. And we can boost her defense as well for the upcoming enemies. Oh, we got stun right there. This guy can provide a shield, but when he used that, he can only block one enemy. And there are two of them coming. Now we defeated one. We're going to put up the shield right here. And he goes through, which is very, very not good. You know what? Oh, sh oh crap. I want to use this to damage him, even though I, did I miss. Oh, no. I'm going to use Bai attack right here. We're going to put her over here to destroy that melee guy. And the enemy is coming in on the top lane as well. Nobody's going in the bottom lane anymore. So it's definitely going to be good. When I move her, she'll damage people around her. And then we use her skill. We have this girl's skill as well. We can actually shoot this guy. Boom. And when you attack enemies with a weak point, you can break them. And when they are in a broken state, they will be stunned. And you can damage them so much more so this guy now the weak point is not exploited yet but because he was so low in hp we can destroy him fairly easily also they have voice acting for all these character in the story so if you're a story kind of guy then this game is going to be amazing for you as well the production value is absolutely amazing okay so that will be the main story you'll progress as you go and discover more characters and more stories here we have the farming stages which is very very easy to do so you only have to do them once and it's gonna be the same as the story stages you go in you destroy the enemy with your formation but the cool thing is you don't have to keep replaying it the boring way they have a read multiple button that allow you to clear the the stages just like this there's no limit the limit is the stamina that you have which you can recharge using the premium currency or you can just wait and you can farm very very easily very very quickly 
So if you are worried about the time you need to spend on the dailies, it is not going to be a problem because doing daily like this is very, very fun. I mean, very, very fast, not fun. Fun for me because I don't have to waste my time. You just have to clear the stage once and you are good to go, which is absolutely insane. So these promotion items are open. They are time gated, which is very, I hate it. <laughs> Like if I pull a character and I want to build it immediately, but the dungeon is not available for me to farm, can be very, very inconvenient. She, I, I like this character so much. I don't know what about her. She looks so, so beautiful. <laughs> Shit, I'm a, look at that. Anyway, we're gonna increase her level. My first healer, and then oh, we pull, we pull a dupe as well, right? Not bad. Let's try to use her. Okay, so let me try this new mode that I haven't tried at all. Let me try it out. Shackle captive. Oh, this is a roguelike thing. Is it? It must be. We're gonna put in my healer. And hopefully it's gonna be okay. Bring it on, buddy. Bring it on. Wait, the, the position is weird. It's a little bit weird. We have to break that one. Special movement over there. Not so fast, buddy. And now is the big boss. Uh-huh. Shield up. Attack him with this. All right, we don't have to use the healing just yet. We're going to shield with him as well. And do this. Attack him from behind. Boom. Break his bottom. <laughs> All right, we can do this. He's, he's begging me to stop. Like, Daddy, show me, please stop. No, not today, buddy. Not today. We're going to wait for the crown to come back. We're going to attack after that. Come on. Come on. All right, the crown's back. We do this. We do this. And we move by. Boom. Break the core again. Doing an absolutely amazing job. We're going to try to heal with her. Oh, my God. The healing is amazing. My tank is back to full HP. All right, he's back with the damage. Wait, he's attacking Bunny. Hello. Excuse me? Can you not? All right, I'm going to wait for his thing to come back. Come on. Come on. I know you want to do it. We're going to break it right now easily with the triple core breaker that I have right here. Ha ha ha. I'm not stopping now, son. All right, I'm going to heal my melee damage dealer again. Dude, having a healer is awesome. It's like, I, you can't lose at all. Wait, 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 no, no, not yet, not yet. Wait for the call to come back. Here it is, break one. Dude, all the characters, I have to wait for the cooldown to be back to break one core, but by you can break two so easily. And that is just cheating. <laughs> Actually cheating, oh my God. And we do so much damage as well. All right, I think this should be done very very easily here one stage down looking good sean Bay. looking good are we going to the next stage we are and then we can get more buff along the way as well that is awesome so it's gonna be the challenging content oh my god more challenging content over here risk level one two three four this is a tower mode but they call it a pit so you're actually going down not up so this is a tower mode okay i'm gonna do this I'm gonna do the oh, the usual you. once again. We can deploy six character here. I'm gonna use someone different this time. Also a melee character, and she can she use an axe and a sword, which is kind of cool, and a healer. All right. I don't know what's gonna happen. But I hope it's gonna be easy. So they're all coming. Wait, what the heck? Okay. Okay, we have to do this. Uh oh. Uh oh. But they're not very tanky, so. So we are dealing damage to them just fine. Oh my god. Oh my god, more of them is coming. More of the more damage. Oh! So you can actually have skill for the for your character as well. And you can either heal, increase the energy restoration, or look at this. <laughs> the AoE damage is so good. Or you can damage them. Alright, this seems rather simple enough. Nothing too crazy. I think so. All right, let's do some damage over here. Oh my God, the AOE damage is amazing. Uh-huh. Not today, buddy. Boom. I'm actually going to go right up to their face this time. Watch. Watch the AOE damage. 
Boom. Oh my god, that is crazy. And bring up. Oh my god, the AoE damage is absolutely insane. Wow. The, the way you can move the character so versatile, it creates such an amazing feeling when you play because you are actually involved in a tower defense game, which is amazing. You can also further improve the relationship of you and your sinners, your inmate, your prisoners by talking to them. And I, I gotta I gotta check out Ariel at some point, right? So you will be inter interrogate them. Is that how I say that word? Interrogate. To further your relationship with all the sinners, of course. <laughs> Unbelievable. There's gonna be that side of the game as well. There's also a base building thing, which is like more for resource collection and all that good stuff. Nothing too crazy. You've seen this in many other gacha games before. So you'll be building your base, all the different resources room, and you can assign your favorite sinner to the room, I believe. Not really, but pretty much a very standard base building room. Nothing too crazy. But the beautiful thing about this game is definitely the character design, the music, the voice acting, and the strategic gameplay. And that is Path to Nowhere. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Big shout out to them for sponsoring the channel too, because hey, I get to play the game that I enjoy, and the channel get so much support, and that is absolutely awesome. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Please use the download link in the description box to download and try the game for free. You can also add and scan the QR code in the video to download the game. Use my gift code PTNSeanB to redeem abundant in-game rewards.